begin to seek his face and begin to pray and begin to worship and begin to preach and the glory of the Lord begins to fill the house. My prayer is do it again, oh God. Fill this place with your power and your glory. My prayer is tonight that I would never have a Jacob moment in my life where I would say, surely the Lord was in this place and I knew it not. I'm thankful for the time that you walk in. You can sense this is the house of God. Hallelujah. Thank God you're in a church tonight where God moves and God operates. If you look, oh God help me not get in trouble the first night, but if you look long enough and hard enough, you'll find a church that makes you feel good. But the days of feel good church are over. People need deliverance. People need salvation. They need a change. They need revival. Amen. And when your life is in trouble, when your family is in trouble, you don't need a feel good church. You need a feel God church where you know you can meet God and God will meet with you and the glory of the Lord will be revealed in the house. David knew there was salvation and revelation at the house of God. He said, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. I was envious of the foolish and the wicked until I went into the sanctuary of God. And then I understood I'm just going to be transparent here tonight. They say confession's good on the soul and bad on the reputation, but here it goes. Hey, man, I've been to church when I felt like I was on top of the world. And I've been when I felt like my world was toppling in on me. I've been to church when I felt like it, and I've been to church when I didn't feel like it. Hey, man, let me clarify. I do feel like being here tonight. I just want to make that clear. Amen. But I was raised in a home where there never was a question, are we going? The only question is what time we have to be there tonight? What time do we have to be there Friday night and Sunday night? Our lives revolved around everything that was happening at the house of God. I've been to church when I didn't have answers. I've been when I didn't have questions, but I knew if I could just get into the house of God, if I can just get in an atmosphere where people are praying and people are worshiping, something powerful can happen in my life. If you need salvation or healing or restoration, it's in this house tonight. Hallelujah, I said it's in this house tonight. The baseball world has a has a stadium in the Bronx and they simply call it the house that Ruth built. But tonight, you're in the house that truth built and you're in the house that'll build you. This is the house that'll build your family. This is the house that'll build your eternity. This is the house that'll build your future. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, David, sin in thy presence. There is fullness of joy. I've been when I was happy. I've been when I was sad. There have been times I walked in, uh, my spirit discouraged. Uh, but the first note on the keyboard uh, and the first line of the song, uh, all of a sudden the joy of the Lord uh, became my strength. Uh, and God started turning my mourning uh, into dancing. Uh, and he started turning sorrow. That's why why a day in his court is better than a thousand elsewhere. I'd rather be a doorkeeper. Just get me to the house of God. I feel the Holy Ghost here right now. Can we just worship the Lord in this building? Maybe that's what David was trying to say when he said, I'm going to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Somebody that's thankful to be in the house of the Lord ought to just clap their hand or wave their hand or shout hallelujah and give God some praise right now. Come on, look what the Lord's done for you. <laughs> he's kept you he's healed you he provided for you he saved you he loved you amen if you need a miracle of healing if you need salvation if you need provision or an answer from God you ought to throw your head up and your hands up and just begin to praise him right now uh, 
because I feel the Holy Ghost the answer that you need from God is going to come through the praise that you're giving to him so if you need an answer begin to praise him you need a healing begin to worship him you need the Holy Ghost begin to magnify the Lord The Bible says, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Visualize with me in the spirit realm right now. What would happen in this house if for just a few moments on one night there was 100% participation. If everything that hath breath would really praise him right now. Imagine what would happen from the pulpit to the balcony. Amen. If everybody in the house would praise him. We ought to just try it right now. Because I got a feeling that while we're praising him. The power and the glory of God will come to you at the point of your need. If you need it, praise him for it right now. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost while you're worshiping him. The Holy Ghost can fall on you right now while you're praising him. Amen. The miracle can happen in your body and in your life right now. Just a moment more. Can we worship him? I feel something moving in this sanctuary right now. It wouldn't surprise me at any moment right now somebody get their healing. It wouldn't surprise me at any moment right now that somebody lifted their hands and began to speak with other tongues. You're in the house of God. Something good's about to happen. God's about to fill you with the Holy Ghost. God's about to bring healing to your body. Amen. You're going to get a prayer answered. You're in the house of God. If it's appropriate, I wish you'd just reach over to somebody nearby you and pray for them right now. I feel the Holy Ghost ministering in this building. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, all power is in this building right now. There's healing in this building. There's provision in this building. <laughs> I feel the Holy Ghost right now. I feel a surge of the Holy Ghost right now. The peace speaker has walked into this building right now. Everything you need is in this house. Come on, expect it to happen. You're in the house of God. Expect to receive what you came for and what you need right now. It's a privilege to be in the house of God. I don't want to take it for granted, but I do want to take advantage of it. I want everything God's got for me right now. There is no place like this on earth. Hallelujah. God no longer wants to fill this temple. He wants to fill this temple. He wants to fill you with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Through repentance and baptism baptism in his name and you receive the Holy Ghost just a moment more can we just pray right now I feel something happening in the Holy Ghost right now I've come tonight with a word for the Lord or somebody in the sanctuary. I know you've come to God's house to worship. I know you've come to pray. I know you've come to hear the preaching. I know you've come to fellowship. But from the moment you walked in, amen, you have felt God doing something and wanting to do something for you. But I also realized that some of you had to wipe the tears from your eyes before you got out of the vehicle. Because what's going on in your home and in your family? 
Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. You were asked how you're doing and you said I'm doing well. But the reality is, amen, while you're at God's house, you have some things back at your house that are beyond you. When you came to his house, you left some troubles you didn't expect, some needs that you can't meet, a sickness that doctor can't heal, a child that needs deliverance, a companion that needs salvation. You've got mountains that must be moved. Amen. A past that's haunting you and a door that's got to be open in your life. I believe the Lord would have me to say to somebody right now, because you have made my house your priority, I'm going to make your house my priority. Oh God. Because you have been faithful to my house, I'm going to be faithful to yours. You may not see God coming, but you're going to know God's been there. God, I feel, I wish somebody could feel a little bit of what I'm feeling right now. I've come to tell you, ma'am, because you come to God's house, God's coming to yours. Anybody in this building need a miracle at your house tonight? If you need a miracle at your house, you ought to lift your hand and your voice and pray, come by here, O Lord. It is me, O Lord, standing in the need of prayer. I've come to your house, but I need a miracle in mine. You know how to pray. I wish you would just pray in the Holy Ghost right now. I feel the weight. Amen. I feel the urgency in somebody's spirit. You came here tonight saying, God, something's got to change in my house. We need revival in our home. We need healing in our house. We're coming to yours because we need you in ours. And while you're worshiping in his house, he's working in yours right now. Hallelujah. Everything changes when God walks in. The Holy Ghost is about to pay a visit to your home. There's going to be a visitation of God in your house. Amen. When you walk through the door tonight, you're going to know that while I was in his house, God was doing something at my house. In the name of Jesus, let's pray right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, when he comes, the death angel can't come in. When he shows up in the house, the meal barrel will not go empty. When he shows up, amen, he brings restoration. He brings provision. He brings Holy Ghost. Get ready. He's coming to your home. There is going to be a visitation of God at your house tonight. While we're praying right now, I feel the Holy Ghost reaching. I feel the Holy Ghost reaching right now. He met with somebody in this building. Hallelujah, you're saying it's me. I'm the one. We've got to have a miracle. Amen. Something's got to happen. There's got to be a move of God in our family. There's got to be a touch of God in my home. There's some situations that only God can fix. There's some needs only God can meet. If anything good's happening, God's got to do it. If that's you, you ought to take a step of faith right now. Amen. Out of your seat to this altar. I don't know who you are. Amen. But the Holy Ghost uh, wants you to know I know where you are. I'm coming uh, to your house. Uh, amen. I'm going to show you my glory. Uh, 
Sabbath Sunday up behind. In the name of Jesus, just keep praying. I feel the Holy Ghost reaching for somebody. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you need a miracle, I, I, I couldn't get away from it today in prayer. Amen. If you need a miracle in your home, I'm asking you simply to step out of your seat to this altar right now. Amen. To make your way down to the front, there's going to be a visitation of God in your home. There's going to be a visitation of God in your family. Somebody get desperate with him. I need you, oh God. I need a miracle in my family. I need a miracle in my home. There's got to be a visitation of God. We've got to have a miracle in our home. We need revival in our family. Hallelujah. Maybe all is well in your world and all is well at your house. But there's some people in this altar right now that are needing God to step on the scene. That need God to work a miracle for them. I wish you'd slip up beside them right now and begin to pray with them. Amen. Begin to pray with them right now. The Holy Ghost is in this building. 